and a possibility of going one and two. Real competition at the top. Again, you'll see the MLB draft right here on MLB Network. Rounds one and two. Coverage begins Sunday night at 6 Eastern, then Monday. Rounds three through ten. Big time players going there too. Coverage begins at two o'clock Eastern on MLB.com. Sunday night right here. Time now for the 2023 MLB draft report presented by Nike. People are very excited about these two guys. And I have to say, I brought up like Matt McClain of the Reds and uh, Patrick Bailey of the Giants. It's not if you're a polished college player, you're not far away. Yes, well, Dylan Cruz is, is certainly very polished, right? He's shown an incredibly advanced approach at the plate and ready, really, to hit the professional ranks. Now, mm. this is the thing. Yes, there's a little bit of seasoning that goes on in the minor leagues, but I don't expect him to spend much time there. Really? All right? I mean, if you see what he did in LSU, there's many saying that this is the best hitter that has ever gone through this program. I mean, we know that this is a program with a history of a lot of success and a bunch of stars. And this started a long time ago. In high school, he was already highly regarded. And he's like, no, it's all right. I want to go to college, okay? So uh, I'll pass on this one. So think about going first round and saying no to that. Let me show you how he does it. Number one, he is extremely grounded, all right? He almost seems like he's squatting at the plate. And this is very important because hitting starts from the ground up. Look how low he got. I mean, he wasn't like this in high school. He kept adjusting. It reminds me of Albert Pujols, kind of like just lifting the heel to get going with his swing. That's the approach that he has adopted, just doing that. That's it. That's all you need to load, all right? Look at that. That's it. There's no stride, no leg kick, nothing. You start just with your legs nice and loaded, and it's just lift your heel, and here comes the blow to the base. Well, look at that. Look at that back leg. It's like a 90 degree, like he's almost squatting, grabbing all that energy, and here comes the thunder, man. Right into the baseball. It just pretty much builds a lot of energy, and here it is. That's how he delivers all that energy onto the baseball from the ground up, almost like a tornado, backwards tornado, coming from the ground up, lifting everything, and here goes the beautiful swing, but very powerful as well. How about this list LSU I mean wow, yeah. think about it so, so would they say that this is the polish the most polished we've ever seen a ball player come yeah. out of this program right, right. This, this this list here is, is very extensive as you can see a bunch of studs yeah. so Dylan Cruz you know remains to be seen but we can say that right now he's got all the tools necessary to succeed in the next level yes. absolutely Th <laughs> there's no sure thing Right, but right. these are the closest things. I know Florida made the national finals. Wyatt Langford is a guy. We spoke to him. He's slugging like 700 at the college level. What do you see in him? I had the opportunity to actually call some of his games. So the ability to see him in the playoffs and see what he's capable of doing with my own two eyes, I, I, I was enamored by what he was capable of doing with his approach. A guy that has such a disciplined approach, especially on off speed. To me, if Dylan Cruz wants over slot money, if he wants money more, more than that first round is going to be for – or that first pick is going to be for the Pirates. I could see Wyatt Lankford sliding into that first pick. I want to show you guys a little bit of what he's capable of doing here. First, uh, th this is the report here. The guy – he's from Florida, a guy that I've seen extreme power, but also the ability to drive the baseball all over the field. He allows the ball to get deep. Uh, when I was calling his games, the one thing that really stuck out to me is his ability – to be big in the moment. Clutch situations. He did it in the College World Series. He's done it for Team USA. So I don't think the pressure of playing at the professional level is going to get to him at all. Solid outfielder when it comes to left field. They're looking to maybe move him to center field once he gets into the professional ranks. Has good speed. Great bat to ball skills. But the body type to me, it reminds me a lot of a young Mike Trout. How strong he is. How shredded he, how shredded he is. And his ability to play the game with ease. He's got great knack for understanding the game. Situations will still bases. And one of the biggest things oh. for me, you see the quick rotation. Quick to the zone, long through it. And, and I love the ability to just say, okay, if I get something out over the plate, I'm going to just take it where it's pitched. So Wyatt Langford may be one of those guys that we need to keep our eyes on, maybe sliding into that no, number one spot as well. Interesting. And just quickly. It seems that there's been a real revolution at the collegiate level coaching-wise, too, right? Mm. So these guys come out much more polished than they used to. It used to be the major league teams would say, you got to come to us to learn how to play baseball. I don't think that's always the case now. Oh, no. You should see what they have going on over there at LSU and all the big programs, right? They are just high into analytics. they got every single technological advance, and they're using it to their advantage. So these players understand what's going on. They're at the leading edge yeah. of everything uh, as far as advanced uh, stats, advanced 
advanced uh, analytics and advanced just technology that they can actually implement into their own game to make themselves uh, better. I'm excited to see it on Sunday night because yeah. you're right, because the, the money still matters yeah. at the very top. Go over slot, go under slot, save your money for later. There's a lot of strategy involved. You can see it right here on MLB Network.